Hello everybody, Oli the Repair Dude is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show how to bypass iCloud Activision Log on iOS 12 up to iOS 16 for iPhone X 8 and 8 Plus, iOS 70 for some iPads with A10 processors using NAT RAM disk. The first step is to run the following commands on the terminal. I will open to show you what's the terminal. This is the terminal. Copy and paste this command to install Homebrew. I will be executing this command as I reinstall Homebrew and it will take a long time to install Homebrew. The next step is to install libusb. Copy and paste brew install libusb into this terminal window to install libusb. Finally, link libusb. Brew link libusb here. Copy and paste here so that it will link the libusb. Once you've done these three commands, you can close your terminal window. Download the NetRAM disk from the link I give you in the description below and allow it to extract. I already done so, so I'll be opening NetRAM disk. If any prompts for you to open, go to settings. I can show you settings. I mean system reference. I call it settings. Security and privacy. Go to generals and allow it to run here. I already allow it to run so the NetRAM disk pop up is appearing. I just show you how to go to that page to allow you to run. After which, press 7 for extras. If your iPhone 7 up to X is iOS 12 up to iOS 14.5.1, select 5 Gen Activation GSM. This will give SIM signal. For my case, it's iOS 14.8.1. This is not supported. Otherwise, you can press 6 Gen Activation to generate the activation files needed. The Gen Activation GSM will give SIM card for those supported devices. Otherwise, you have no SIM signal. Once you get this, click Continue. Enter to return menu. Click Start again. Go back to this NetRM this menu. Select the iOS version you want to boot. For me, since my iPhone is on iOS 14, 8.1 I press 4 to boot you see plug the device into DFU to start to put the device on DFU mode press volume up volume down and press power quickly you get this count 1 to 10 on or until black screen 1 2 3 4 5 then black screen press down the volume key while holding the power key volume down to be exact then let go of the power key after a few seconds and hold the volume down key till it hit dfu mode once you hit dfu successfully press enter to start once they exploit execute successfully starting ram disk process allow it to load the ram disk to get this click standard if if it works for you otherwise go alternative if it doesn't work for you this will take a while, so please be very patient. Late mount partitions, this will take some time, so be patient. Once you get this, press enter, hit enter. Then press 3 for hello screen to restore the activation files you just generated. Once you get this, press enter. Then 7 for extras. This is for cellular devices like cellular iPads and iPhones. Press 1 to disable B-Span. This to prevent it from escaping back to the head of screen once I reboot the device. With the baseband disabled. As we don't have valid baseband activation tickets, it will throw back to the head of screen. So you need to disable the baseband so that it won't throw back. Press 5 to restart the iPhone or iPad. And you should go to the home screen on the iPhone. And you get this. It is normal as you disable the baseband on this iPhone or other cellular iPad devices. Just click OK. You don't need this. And now we are on the home screen. This cellular devices disabled is only for those without GSM activation. 
if you are using GSM activation, you do not need to disable the baseband. You can just go straight to restart and your SIM card will get signal. As you can see, home screen already successfully. I hope that you enjoy this tutorial video. Please like, share and comment on my video and please do subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon.